What is the caudate to right hepatic lobe ratio? A high ratio is very specific for cirrhosis. More specifically, a ratio greater than 0.75 is 99% specific for cirrhosis. On this non-contrast CT, we see very advanced cirrhotic disease with a small nodular liver. There is hypertrophy of the caudate lobe as well as extensive ascites. How do we calculate this ratio? Here's a diagram depicting the several lines we'll be doing on the next slide. Our first line is drawn through the right lateral border of the portal vein. Our second line is drawn through the left lateral border of the caudate lobe. Line number three is orthogonal to lines one and two, midway between the portal vein and the IVC extending to the right liver edge. The right lobe measurement is along line three from the right liver edge to line one. And lastly, the caudate measurement is along line three between lines one and two. From there, we can calculate the caudate to right hepatic lobe ratio. There you have it. You now know how to calculate the caudate to right hepatic lobe ratio to help determine if there's cirrhosis. Subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.